So to end our session today, Robin is going to review with you um, the components of the legal plan that's part of your business plan. And then I'll just give you um, some ending instructions on what's in the module and to remind you of the sessions coming up next week on production. Thank you, Robin. Hi, everybody. Thanks for hanging in there with us. Um, the USDA identified five areas of farm risk and legal is one of the words that they use to describe it. Um, I was just pulling up the ag plan from University of Minnesota and they don't have a tab specifically for legal, but they do have risk management. And I think that might uh, fit what you need to do better. I'm gonna try again to share my screen. The last time when I, when I did this, it didn't, share the the screen that I wanted, but let's see. So I think they have a good uh, um, uh, list here of things that you should think about. We've been talking tonight about different kinds of insurance. So if you, if you grow a, a crop of any kind, you should definitely have some insurance on the crop, either catastrophic insurance or the NAP program for the non-insured crops that you can get basic coverage. And this also brings into play the financial plan that we talked about before, because if you have a disaster and make a claim, having enterprise budgets for the, the crops that you grow is going to really help you in um, that claim. I've been pulled in um, in disputes at times. Just if they if you don't have any records, they're going to try to come up with what they think it would um cost you to produce the crop and how far you are. And so they're going to have to use the county average. So having your own records is much better. And often they don't have county averages, but that's one of the reasons we develop budgets. So if you want to develop, um, start doing your cost accounting or your enterprise budgeting for your farm. As we mentioned before, there are there are some budgets at Rutgers and there's budget at said other states that might help you. Ours haven't been updated in a while for most crops, but some of them have been. So um, all the different kinds of insurance are important to think about when you put it into your um, risk management or legal plan is what kind of insurance do you have for your crops? Also um, uh, health insurance, uh, property insurance, liability insurance, all those kind of things that could actually cause a disaster for your farm if um, you did have some kind of uh, loss or suit or so forth. So they've listed a lot of the kinds of insurances here on the ag plan. Uh, again, I strongly encourage you to look at this. And then you also have some different kinds of production risk that we've talked about in various ways and uh, different sessions, but uh, mostly focusing on those tonight. And also um, um, food safety, uh, health and safety of your workers, uh, marketing risk. You probably want to um, make sure that you have a personal lawyer for your farm um, and also put together um, further down the road an estate plan, uh, a trans transition plan or a succession plan for your farm, um, either have a will or a trust. So those kind of things would go into risk management as well. And uh, just to look again at the ag plan, for every category that they have here on the left, they have samples of things that should be in it. They have tips that you can use. They have resources and uh, comments so that just, even if you're not going to use their um, program to do your business plan, looking at their information is a is a very good resource. So I think I will stop sharing and uh, turn it back over to Melissa, and I'll be happy to answer any questions. All right, thank you very much, Robin. You're welcome. Does anyone have any questions for Robin about how to find that resource? It is listed in the module, I believe. It's just agplan.umn.edu. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I think that might be in the um, the second week's module. 
Okay, good. Thank you, Madeline. Yep. It's either so, in the first or second. Before we close, uh, Madeline wanted me to remind you that uh, today's presentation are in your modules. The um, FSA links um, are also in the module in the resource section. So please uh, take a, an opportunity to check those out. 